TikTok is an incredibly divisive app. But I think if there's one single thing that we can all come together and unanimously agree upon, it's that the apps that are boy moms are infinitely cringe. My boy moms feel me on this, but my son has my heart my heart and my soul i obviously am obsessed with stevie lee she is just the greatest little girl in the world but my whole life i always wanted to be a boy mom and i remember when i found out i was pregnant with him and i was just ecstatic because i was such a tomboy growing up okay firstly if you start your sentence with obviously it's almost always used as an afterthought for example <gasps> oh my god i'm so excited for Christmas! What about my birthday? It's on the same day and I'm turning 21 this year. Oh, yeah, I'm, I mean, obviously I'm excited for your birthday, but come on guys, like, Santa Claus Christmas, you know what I mean? So you shouldn't be talking about your literal daughter like that? And secondly, how weird is it for a mother to say, obviously I love my daughter, but... I've just wanted to be a boy mom my whole life. Because when your daughter watches this video in the future, she's going to interpret this as, oh, so she loves me, but clearly she loves my brother more. Great, cool. Thanks for putting that on the internet for millions of people to see, mom. Love it. Anyways, the whole point of me making this video is I had to share his preschool photo with you because when I tell you I opened up this email and I just hysterically cried. He is just everything. Also, fun fact, I forgot it was picture day, and I sent him to school in, like, a beach tank top, so his guns were showing. No big deal. Oh, my God. It's no wonder why you deleted this video. Obviously, I love my daughter, but the entire point of this video is for me to gush about my son for two minutes and never mention her again except for when I say that I would much rather be a boy mom than I ever wanted to be a girl mom. That's it. That's the whole video! And I'm not saying that you can't be proud of your son, and if that's how anybody's interpreting this, you're dumb! But what I am saying is that you shouldn't be playing favorites, especially not so publicly! Show this love and this adoration towards your children equally! He never thought that I would be that toxic boy mom. I love my four kids equally, but that last little boy <laughs> just hits different. You see what they all have in common? Her other three children are girls, and her final child is a boy. She says she loves them all equally, and then goes ahead right after and says, oh, actually, I just love my son a little bit more. And now I feel like I'm having this existential crisis. Or I wouldn't be that mom, that toxic boy mom. He hits his sisters, he punches them. I'm like, maybe he's having a hard day. What the hell? Yeah. Do you want to know what kind of son you're raising? A boy who thinks it's okay to hit women. By excusing this behavior because you admittedly love him more than you love your own daughters, which is already vile, but it's teaching him that if he's having a hard time, it's okay for him to take it out on the women in his life. But you're not just teaching your son to be a violent man towards women. You're also teaching your daughters that this behavior should be accepted from not just their brother, but from any of their future partners. When I think about my daughters getting married, I get excited, right? I think about their dresses, planning their weddings. When I think about my son's wedding, I want to cry. Why? Is it because you care more about him than you do your daughters? Because based off the rest of your content, it seems like that's just the case. Excuse me, brah. You're excused. And I'm not your bra. Firstly, you want to know what a regular mom that doesn't play favorites does when her kids are fighting? Hey, look, look. I've been at work for nine hours. I don't want to hear this. So either shut up, or you're going to bed at 7.30 with no Xbox for tonight. Yeah, you don't like the sound of that, do you? That's what I thought. Or, alternatively, it would be this. Oh, God. Stop. Stop. I don't want your kids to fight. Okay, I just want you to get along. <laughs> Never did my own mum pick a side and throw shade towards the other kid that I was in an argument with. Then she uploaded 
a TikTok with a song that sings, Remember all the things that you and I did first? With text on top saying, When you get replaced by your mini-me, so you make a mini-him. You are not in competition with your daughter! I don't know if you understand how parenting works, but you weren't replaced. Your husband is just rightfully spending more time with his daughter because that's what you're supposed to do when you're a parent, especially to a child as young as that. You're not supposed to ignore your children. Also, this is offensive to the son because you want to know what this implies? Oh, so my mum had me to get back at my dad who was giving his very much needed attention to my sister who was a toddler at the time. I'm a revenge baby? Raising boys who are so obsessed with me so their future wife can't say they are going to her side for the holidays. Again, these mothers are already creating a competition between someone that they haven't even met 25 years into the future. Marriage is a two-way street. Both parties deserve to visit their individual families over the holidays. You can't expect their future wives to just sit back and accept the fact that they're not allowed to see their family over the holidays ever again because you are obsessed with your sons, not the other way around. As a mum, we raised them to be the men we never had. Of course we want to be with them. Whoop, whoop, it's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop, it's the sound of the beast. Oh, don't worry, we all know y'all want to be with your sons. Because you'll break their hugs up with their wives and force yourself into the hug instead begging them to not be in love with someone else. Okay, cool. Uh, I love that we're at this point on the internet where we're just letting mothers openly admit that they want their sons to be in love with them. When your son shows you his first crush, but you were his first love, and then she tries to take his phone away, then grabs his face with her hands and pulls him in close as... Were you gonna give him a kiss? Oh my god. Dad, I'm scared. Get the phone. Call 911. Lois! Lois! Lois, get in here! You need to be in jail! Immediately! I'm not joking, okay? Put that b in a cell now! You're not his first love! You're his parent! You're supposed to be happy of the fact that he's found somebody that he likes. Not be jealous of a teenage girl! Damn! <laughs> oh my god! Why do y'all have to be so fucking strange? Why are you typing that caption as if he himself wrote it? Why would you, as his fucking mother, refer to yourself as the girl that he's been waiting for? Oh, <laughs> he should not be sliding his hands down your back like that. And the fact that you allow that and encourage that makes you incredibly weird. That is what your husband is for, not your 14 year old child. Hey, babe. Bye, I love you. See you, bro. Bye, mommy. Oh. Well, I have a brother, right? Which means that my mum is a boy mum. Is my brother doing that to my mum? Absolutely not. Would my mum tolerate that and just be cool about that if he did that to her? Absolutely not! So don't lump all mums who have a son in with your weird ass! POV, I found the perfect song for my son's mother-son wedding dance. And it's her using the song, The Boy Is Mine, where a lyric literally says, I'm sorry that you seem to be confused, he belongs to me. Dreaming of your child's future wedding is fine. Dreaming about dancing with your child at their future wedding is also fine. But you want to know what's not fine? Beefing with your son's non-existent wife because he's six months old because you perceive that this so-called wife is stealing your son from you. Give him the chance to learn to walk first! Do you know mums that have baby boys is because 
God wants them to experience true love? Okay, so what would you have done if you had a baby girl instead? Would you have said this exact same thing? Because why does God wanting a mother to experience true love only apply to mothers with boys? Why couldn't it just be, do you know mums have children because God wants them to experience true love? Why are y'all so cruel to daughters? It doesn't make any sense to me. You're a woman yourself. Why do you like being a boy mom? Don't you wish you had a girl? And then she happily says no as she shows off her son's clothes that aren't pink because she hates pink, but is literally wearing a shirt with pink fucking stripes. And then she says that she likes being a boy mom because girls look at her son with hot eyes. What does that even mean? How do you... How do you benefit from that? Then she shows a clip of sneakers as if a girl couldn't also wear a pair of sneakers. And then she flexes the fact that she'll never have to go to the Nutcracker on ice. Boy moms are doing just fine. So have fun at the Nutcracker with your daughter. What an oddly specific thing to be happy that you didn't have a daughter about. What? I'm sure there are plenty of other mothers out there who would love to see the Nutcracker. So what does that have to do with the daughter? We're boy moms. Even though we complain about having all boys, we know that we could not handle for the life of us having a little girl. <laughs> oh, you couldn't handle having a girl for the life of you? <laughs> well, it seems like you can't even handle your own boy either. Because for the entire rest of the video, you sit there and complain about how hard it is to be a boy mom because of how you have to fold their clothes, how nobody ever tells you that you look like your son, how you hate the books your son chooses to read, how you're mad you don't get invited to brunch because your friends assume your son won't like it, how you hate having a bin for toy weapons, how your son wants Bowser's castle as a toy instead of Barbie's dream house, and how annoying it is that you find their Nerf bullets around the house all the time. You complain about all that, but no, having a daughter is so much worse, isn't it? We're boy moms. Even though we try to explain to other moms what it's like being an all boy mom, we'll have one mom say, our girls do the same thing and make us feel totally invalidated. Thank you. Um, so like humans have been doing since the dawn of time, right? Um, they're just trying to have a conversation with you. Newsflash. They're also a parent. They don't have it any easier than you do because the genders are opposite. They're not invalidating you. They're relating to you. Because raising children, regardless of whether it's a boy or a girl, is hard. You're not special. And somebody needed to tell you that. And you want to know why I know that these TikTok boy mums just hate their daughters? Because the second they find out they're having a boy, they shove their daughter to the ground and completely disregard her existence all just because they wanted a boy instead. You are going to hell, the both of you. You should be celebrating with her. You should be including her in the moment by saying, oh my God, you're gonna have a little brother. You're gonna be an older sister. Not start playing favorites before the boy has even been born. Sorry, but people like this shouldn't be parents. I don't care. And don't even get me started on all the boy moms who are saying they're only teaching their sons how to cook for themselves so he's not impressed by takeout or frozen pizza or boxed lasagna. You should be teaching your son how to cook so it gives him independence in the future. You should be teaching your son how to cook because it is an incredibly valuable life skill. You should be teaching your son how to cook so that if he chooses to have a family in the future, he has the ability to feed his children. Why is it always just a dig at the girlfriend? Guys, I have to end the video here. I can't talk about these heathens anymore. They are legitimately pissing me off. So get out of my sight forever, please. You'd be doing the entire human race a favor. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Mwah. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!